I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. No, venti is 20. Danny. Yeah. Large is large. In fact, tall is large, and grande is Spanish for large. Venti's the only one that doesn't mean large. It's also the only one that's Italian. Congratulations, you're stupid in three languages. Coffee. The only reason that I'm actually awake right now, and one of the greatest things in the world. That's not just my opinion either, that's, that's actually true. So how do we order coffee, and what are the, the different names of different kinds of coffee? The first thing to understand is that Actually, most of the English names for different kinds of coffee are not English. They're Italian because the kind of coffee that we make in, for example, Starbucks comes from Italy. I'll talk more about that later. But how do we order coffee in a coffee shop? So you go into the coffee shop and the person who's standing there is called a barista. A barista, the person who makes, makes the coffee. I used to be a barista. My first job was at a pizza place and uh, and then later I worked at a coffee shop in Seattle as a barista. So you go in and the barista will say hi how can I help you today? How can I help you today? Or what would you like? What would you like? Sometimes they'll say what can I get for you? So those are common ways for the barista to greet you. They will say sometimes what can I get for you today? Why would they say today? So I don't know. I don't know the reason, but they say today for some reason. When I was a barista, I didn't say, I didn't say, what can I get for you today? Because it is today. You go in, they say that, then you need to say what you want. To say what you want, you just say, I'll have, or can I get, or I'd like. I'll have, can I get, or I'd like. These are the three common ways to say what you want. It's polite and you can use them in lots of different situations like this, okay? So, I'll have, then you need to say the size of the coffee. Now, usually for most places, you just say small, medium, large. Pretty simple, small, medium, large. But at Starbucks, they have weird names for their sizes. So you say, I'll have a small, that would be at a normal place. Starbucks, the small is called a tall. A tall is a small. The medium is grande. Grande means big in Italian and, and Spanish, and I think Portuguese too. It means big, so medium means big. Anyway, tall, grande, and then the biggest one, the large, is called venti. Venti means 20 in Italian means 20 because it's 20 ounces. So, normally we say small, medium, large. Starbucks we say tall, grande, venti. Uh, can I get a grande? And then you say the name of the drink you want. Now, the names of the drinks, as I mentioned, are in Italian because the coffee culture we have in, for example, America at Starbucks comes from Italy. It's Italian style coffee. That big machine that baristas use, that's called an espresso machine. That really, really strong coffee that cof, coffee, coffee, cough, coffee. That really strong coffee that comes out is called espresso. Espresso. Comes out in a little glass. It's a shot glass. It's called a shot glass. And a shot of espresso is one little glass filled with really strong coffee. And most of the drinks you order have that inside. So what are the different drinks that are made with espresso? First you have a latte, probably the most popular. A latte is just espresso, one or two shots, steamed milk, which means hot milk, and maybe a little bit of foam on top. Foam is very light milk with a lot of air inside. So there's a latte. Then there's a cappuccino. Cappuccino is the same as a latte espresso, and then maybe a little steamed milk and a lot of foam, that milk that you can basically eat. So they're the same thing, just more or less foam. That's the difference. Then there's a mocha. A mocha is a little bit of chocolate sauce, 
espresso, milk, and maybe whipped cream on the top. What's the difference between hot chocolate and a mocha? There's only one difference. The only difference is a mocha has espresso, has coffee actually inside. Okay? Then there's an Americano. Not American coffee, an Americano. Because remember, they're Italian names. These are all Italian names. Cappuccino, latte, Americano. Americano is just water and espresso. So it's basically black coffee. Water and espresso. What's the difference between that and black coffee? Black coffee is made with a different kind of machine. So it's made with, we could say, a drip coffee machine. It's brewed, it's made differently with a different process. So if you say, I'll have a drip coffee, can I get a grande drip coffee? Can I get a grande Americano? Basically, those two will taste pretty much the same, but some people prefer one or the other. But that is not espresso drip coffee. It's a little bit different. Sometimes when you order coffee, you might want to mention that you don't want caffeine. Maybe you had too much today, or you can't drink caffeine. And you might want to also ask for different kinds of milk. So if you want regular caffeine, regular milk, say nothing. Just say, I'll have a venti mocha. But if you want to have, for example, non-fat milk, non-fat milk, you need to say that when you're ordering the drink. Uh, almond milk or rice milk, they have different kinds of milk. Usually rice milk, almond milk, and non-fat milk. Otherwise, they'll just use regular milk. Then you can say before that, if you don't want caffeine, you can say decaf, decaffeinated, decaf. Or you can say half-calf. Half-calf means it has half caffeine. So if you want to make a complicated drink, you might say, I'll have a venti half-calf non-fat cappuccino. Venti half-calf non-fat cappuccino. Can I get a grande decaf almond milk mocha? Sounds complicated, but if you have been paying attention for the last few minutes, now you know what that means. So anyway, those are the most popular drinks that you would get at a coffee shop. There's also pure espresso, maybe two shots of espresso, and then you wake up. Oh, and there's one more that's very interesting. It's called a, it's called a red eye. A red eye has espresso and drip coffee. Make coffee and then you put espresso inside and it is really strong. Lots and lots of caffeine. That's all. That's how you order coffee. All you need to know is I'll have and then you need to know the different names of the different kinds of coffee drinks. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this video, make sure to check out my Udemy page in the link below. Okay.